Croatia is seeing the peak of its tourist season this weekend and traffic is heavy on all roads leading to and from the coast. Besides border crossings and toll booths, longer waits are also possible on the Zagreb Ring Road, parts of the highway between Lučko and Bosiljevo on the Istrian Y Highway, the Kirk Bridge and the ports of Zadar and Split. Drivers are advised to exercise caution and bring plenty of water. Taxi drivers in Dubrovnik, Split and Zagreb blocked roads leading to airports yesterday in protest against Uber, which has not been banned from working in Croatia, although it does not fulfill all conditions to provide such a service. In Dubrovnik, violence did break out when unknown assailants assaulted four taxi drivers. Dubrovnik mayor Mato Frankovic said he considers Uber to be illegal and noted that most Uber drivers in the city are not even from Dubrovnik but also told taxi drivers that problems should not be resolved on the streets. Before sports, we take you to Chakovets, the central tourist manifestation in the Mejimuria area, Porci Junkulovo, began last night. The event was originally conceived as a fair of traditional crafts connected to the religious feast of Our Lady of the Angels, Porci Junkula. However, it has become the biggest tourist event in Mejimuria County. This year, it is expected that the street exhibitors, dancers and concerts could see a record-breaking 300,000 visitors. The event lasts until Wednesday. At the World Water Polo Championships in Budapest, Croatia is set to face host nation Hungary tonight at 8.30 p.m. After defeating a strong Serbia in the semifinals by a score of 12 to 11, Croatia faces Hungary tonight who defeated Greece in the semifinals by a score of 7 to 5. Hungary has won the World Championships three times, the last being in 2013 in Barcelona. Croatia won gold in 2007 in Melbourne, where they defeated Hungary by a score of 9-8. In the first match of the Croatian Football League's third round of play, Lokomotiva and Rudesh played to a 1-1 draw last night. Newly promoted Rudesh took the lead in the 16th minute with a goal by Lulic, and Lokomotiva equaled the score in the 62nd minute when Meyer made good on a penalty shot. Today, Rijeka faces Istra and Inter plays host to Slavin Belupo. The weather forecast calls for mainly sunny skies during the afternoon in most regions. Dalmatia and some parts of Slavonia will see clear skies, while moderate cloud coverage is possible in western regions, especially mountainous areas and western Istra. More near the end of the day. A slight to moderate wind will blow in from the sea on the coast, mainly a westerly and southwesterly, but also a southeasterly on the open sea. Seas will be calm to smooth, measuring between 24 and 26 degrees Celsius in temperature. Visibility will be good. Highs for the day will range between 29 and 33 degrees. With the arrival of moist air, Sunday will be more unstable. Variable cloud coverage in Gorski Kotar may bring light rain during the morning, while during the afternoon, other regions of the interior may see showers and thunderstorms in places. The beginning of next week will see more stable weather with more sunshine, winds will be mainly slight and temperatures will rise so that on Monday and especially on Tuesday it will be very hot in places. Mainly sunny and hot on the coast over the next few days, tomorrow will be slightly more unstable with a possibility of local storms, mainly in northern and central parts of the coast. Winds will be slight tomorrow and as of Monday a moderate northwesterly wind will blow in places.